Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Moto Edge 30 Fusion. Now you can pick this one up online, I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one starts at 600 bucks. All right, so let's go through the specs real quick. Now this phone is GSM unlocked. So that means if you got AT&T or T-Mobile, you're good to go. If you got Verizon, you asked out. Now this one comes in two different colors. You got Neptune Blue and Viva Magenta which is the Pantone color of the year. Now, one more side note, if you buy this phone from Motorola, it does come with some wireless earbuds. For the display, you got a 6.55 inch P-OLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2400. Now that's 402 for the PPI Patrol. The phone is IP52 splash resistant. You got Gorilla Glass 5 on the front for protection, aluminum frame, and a vegan leather back. Now you got HDR 10 plus, up to 1100 nits brightness and a 144 hertz refresh rate. Now for the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 Plus with the Adreno 660 GPU. Now what does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro, flagship specs. Not the top of the line flagship specs, but flagship specs nevertheless. Now you got 12 gigs of RAM, 128 or 256 gigs of storage, no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now it's running Android 12, upgradable to Android 13 with the Moto skin on top. Now you got a 4,400 milliamp battery that features 68 watt fast charge. Now Moto claims you can charge this phone from zero to 50% in 10 minutes. Now for the cameras on the rear, you got a triple setup. So you got a 50 megapixel wide angle, 13 megapixel ultra wide, and a two megapixel depth sensor. You can shoot 8K video at 30 frames per second and 4K video at 60 frames per second. Now in the front, you got a 32 megapixel wide angle lens and you can shoot 4K video at 30 frames per second. You got dual stereo speakers with Dolby Atmos, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC. You got the peak display and you got an on-screen fingerprint sensor with face unlock. All right, so all of that for 600 bucks, what's missing? First of all, there's no official IP rating, okay? Even though it's IP52, which they call in splash proof, it's not IP68. So you can't go swimming with this phone. There's no always on display, no quad HD display, no expandable memory, no wireless charge, and no headphone jack. That's just whack, hashtag bars. All right, so let's unbox it and see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes. White shoes, calm down. Okay, now two quick side notes. Number one, this is a special request video. I was not planning on buying this phone because in my opinion, the price is TGH. And if you don't know what that means, that's too goddamn high, okay? This phone is pretty much dead on arrival, in my opinion, because at 600 bucks, why not get the Google Pixel 7? We're gonna talk about this in a minute, but this is a way better phone, has wireless charge, okay? The only difference is the Moto has a bigger battery with faster charging, on paper, okay, on paper. Now it does charge faster, but in real world testing, the battery is better on the Pixel 7. Not to mention, like I said, you got wireless charge, you got full IP68 dust and water resistance, you got an always on display, and you got wireless charge. Not to mention the flagship processor. One more side note. Now, if you're uh, watching this video, uh, you listening, uh, put it like this. If you're listening to this video using headphones, you might hear a rumbling sound in the background. That's because I'm in my basement and the boiler's on. So if you hear that rumbling sound, I can't do nothing about that. It's freezing cold in New York City. I need that heat. Okay, here we go. Moto <laughs> Edge 30 Fusion, okay? The Pantone color of the year. Now, of course, if a phone comes in red, you know I'm getting red. So this is Viva Magenta. Okay, now this has the plastic-free packing made from recyclable materials. Okay, so let's see what you get inside. Okay, now Moto was kind enough to throw a little case in here. Of course, you got your usual books and shit, pluck them and file them. Here's your SIM ejection tool and a little hard shell case. Not too much uh, protection with this. Not too much, much well, let me say that again. Not too much protection with this one, okay? But it's still a free case. Now, one thing that I gotta give Moto credit for on this one, they put a fragrance inside of the box. So once you open up the box, you're gonna smell this perfume. And I gotta tell you, it smells dope, right? It smells dope. Speaking of that, matter of fact, might as well do the smell test real quick. 
Mmm! Viva Magenta! <laughs> okay, now, all jokes aside, when you open this box, that fragrance is gonna hit you right in your mouth. All right, it smells so good. I think more phone companies need to adopt this uh, presentation pattern. I like that, okay, I like that. Now, one more thing though, you can't peel this stick off the back. That's part of the actual phone. I don't like that, all right? But if you got the Pantone color of the year, I guess you want people to know. Let's see what else you get. Okay. Now, you're gonna get your charging cable. So this is gonna be, let's see, USB-C to USB Type-C. Which, on a side note, this phone does have Motorola's ready for, so you can connect this cable right to your monitor and use the phone as a PC. You can connect the keyboard and the mouse. Let's see what you get in here. Oh, now what is this? Let me, let, okay, wait a minute. Let me, let me find out this phone came with the headphones inside. Let's see, because this looks like some headphones materials. Okay, check this out. I might have to stand corrected. You got a little charging cable, USB-A to USB Type-C with some different size air tips. Now, I ordered this phone directly from Motorola. I was expecting to get my free wireless earbuds in a separate box, and it wasn't in there, so check this out. <laughs> the wireless earbuds are in here, okay. Now, this is, this is what I like to see. I had to take it to my high voice. This is what I like to see all phone companies should do this, okay? They don't have to be the best wireless earbuds in the world, but give me a set of wireless earbuds, okay, that kind of match the color theme. This is pretty cool, though. This is pretty cool. Let's see how the earbuds look. Okay, they look very, very standard. They look like some uh, sound cores, but it is what it is. I was not expecting that. Oh, and of course, Samsung, Google, Apple, pay attention. You got the 68-watt fast charging brick inside of the box where it belongs, okay? You're advertising fast charge, prove it. And Moto's gonna prove it. Other than that, that is a beautiful presentation. And again, the smell. All right, my whole little area right here smells like this fragrance. I don't know the name of it. All right, we're gonna call it the Viva Magenta fragrance, but it is strong and it smells good. All right, so let me uh, power this up, delete my browsing history, and then we'll walk through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, first, I want to start by clarifying something that I said earlier. When I said this phone is dead on arrival, that's just my personal opinion. Because me, when I'm spending my money, I like to get the most bang for my buck. That's not saying that you got to do the same. I, you don't got to be like me. There is some reasons why some people might like the Moto 30 Fusion over the Pixel 7. Such as the Moto Ready 4 feature, which allows you to plug this into a monitor and give you that PC experience. Okay, the Moto 30 Fusion is a thinner and lighter phone. Some people would argue that it looks better. And you got a bigger battery with faster charging speeds. However, if you're looking for bang for your buck, you're getting a better processor with the Pixel 7, you're getting full water resistance, you're getting wireless charge, you're getting always on display, and you're getting those guaranteed Android updates. So in my opinion, the Pixel 7 is a better bang for your buck. Now, onto the Moto 30 Fusion. This is still a dope, high-end, mid-range phone, okay? I wouldn't call this a flagship, I would say this is flagship S. okay? This is a flagship S kind of phone. On the back, you have this beautiful vegan leather, also known as faux, right, you got the faux leather, faux show. It smells amazing, it feels amazing, and it's gonna give you that premium leatherish feel that you're gonna find on some of the quality flagships like the Xiaomi 12S Ultra and the Vivo phones, okay? That vegan leather on the back is gonna give you no fingerprints, and it's always gonna look and feel classy. Here's your triple camera setup. You got your Moto logo. Again, I wish this sticker could peel off. Now, <laughs> I read online that it can't peel off. Should I try it? Let me see, because Somebody said it can't peel off. I don't want to damage the phone. Yeah, I don't think you'll peel this off. <laughs> I'm not going to blow up. I'm not going to blow up where I read that at because somebody tried to peel it off and made themselves look like a noob. I read it online. Somebody said the sticker can't peel off. I don't like that. But I mean, I guess it's marketing. I guess if you're going to win the Pantone color of the year, you might as well advertise it. But I just don't like it. I wish it would have been solid red. But as far as the color scheme, beautiful. Two-tone camera hump. Okay fucking hump 
<laughs> Two Tone Hump. <laughs> what movie is that from? Um, <laughs> I was just watching um, King of New York. You think you're gonna live long enough to spend that money, you fucking hump? Did your camera hump? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm in a good mood. Did your camera flash? Okay, again, Moto Brandon, power button, nice and low. Okay, now let's see this. <laughs> one thing that I don't like about the Pixel, you see the Pixel is one of the only phones that came out that the power button is above the volume rocker. Okay, I don't like that. Okay, the power button should be nice and low where you can reach it. And if you look closely, it does have a little texture on the power button, little ridges. So this way, when you got the phone in your pocket, you can feel the difference between volume down and power. Okay, on the bottom, there's one of your speaker grills. Okay, now, if you listen closely, my boiler just turned off, so the sound is going to be a little bit better. Now, one more thing. When I come down here, the boiler is so random, I could try to sit here and wait for it to turn off, but every time I do that, I always rage quit, and then, as like just like right now, as soon as I start talking, now it turns off. I'm too deep to start this video over. Okay, anyway, speaker grill, USB Type-C charging slot, there's your SIM tray. Okay, this side is extra clean, just your antenna lines. Again, power button, volume up and down. On the top, just a mic. Now your other speaker grill is embedded into the earpiece. I will say this. This is definitely a thinner and lighter phone than the Pixel. That might be one of your reasons why you might want to go with this phone instead. Also, it did come with some earbuds. I mean, that's a nice touch. But definitely a thinner and lighter phone whilst, I, whilst still retaining that premium feel. Now, you don't have an always on display, you have what they call the Moto Peak Display. Now, if you've seen any of my videos, you know what that is. You see I got a Gmail, all you gotta do is press it. You can see I got a TikTok, there's my notifications. Okay, got an update. Got an Instagram with the full picture of the person. Got some friend requests. This is pretty dope. Now, I'm gonna let it turn off and show you how this works. All right, so this is the Peak Display. Now, in order to use it, all you gotta do is move the phone and it comes on. And you'll see your notifications. Okay, now if you wanna open that notification, let's see, let's open up uh, Instagram, swipe down. I gotta put my code in real quick. Okay, let me try that again. Let me just look at it. I forgot to unlock the phone for the first time after rebooting, okay. All right, so let's try that again. We'll try to peak display again. I mean, I don't really use the actual opening feature of the peak display. But I'll show you how it works. So you got your phone on the table. All you got to do is move it. Say I want to go to Instagram. Bam. Slide. And it'll take it right to my Instagram conversation. Now, I don't want to put whoever that was on blast. So I'll go ahead and delete that. But you get the idea. All right. So with the peak display, you got a Gmail. Bam. Take it right to Gmail. Okay. So that's peak display. No always on display. Now, there's a couple of different ways you can open up the device. You can swipe up, put in your pad and your pin. Next, you got face unlock. Bong, look how fast that works. Bong, let's do three in a row. Bong, okay? And of course, you got your on-screen fingerprint sensor, which works flawlessly. Now, one more side note. A lot of people have been asking me about the OnePlus 11, okay? I do got the global version. The fingerprint sensor is not an issue. Okay, so the fingerprint sensor works flawlessly on this phone. Let me do one more. Bang, just like that. Now, since this is the global version, you swipe over, you got your Google homepage. Okay, we swipe back. You got all your Android 12 widgets. Okay, you see you got the, um, my favorite, the turntable, which takes you right to YouTube music. Oh, let me show you something that's dope with this too. Watch this. Let me turn the volume down. All right, now if I turn the phone off while I'm playing music, watch this. Let's go ahead and turn it off. Now we do the peak display. You get the full album art on your peak display. I like that. Okay, that's a, that's a nice little feature right there. Bong, let's go ahead and open this back up. <laughs> I know, I, little stuff like that makes me happy. Exit out of that. Okay, all of my widgets on deck. All right, so let's breeze through the settings real quick. Now, of course, you got all your quick toggles. Okay, you got Google Pay. Again, here's Ready For. All you gotta do is connect this to your monitor, and it's gonna give you that Samsung DeX experience. Now, I tested it out. It's just like Samsung DeX. The only difference is Samsung uses the wireless DeX. That's why Samsung is the GOAT right now, because of wireless DeX. This, you're gonna have to use a cable to use Ready For. 
Okay, but you got nearby share. You got uh, access to your camera and your mic for more security. You got a gift maker. Okay, let's breeze through the regular settings real quick. Okay, you got NFC. Uh, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. This is you ready for. Connect NFC, screencast, screen printing, Chromebook, nearby share, and Android Auto. Okay, no, no need to go to notifications, battery. Again, now I was testing this out against my Pixel 7, and on paper, the battery should be better on the Fusion. But because of Google's Tensor chip and their battery optimization in the real world usage, the Pixel 7 has better battery life. It just charges way slower. But you do have adaptive battery, you got optimized charging, overcharge protection, yada, yada, yada. Okay, storage. Now this one right here, this is 256 gigs. Okay, 12 gigs of RAM. Let's go to sound and vibrations. Dual stereo speakers, which actually are surprisingly loud. You got Dolby Atmos, okay, with the full Dolby Atmos suite. Okay, when you put on your headphones, you can go crazy with that. All your different uh, <laughs> sound settings. Let's go to display. Okay, now let's see, let's go to, okay, let's see, you got display size, check that out. Colors, now I keep mine saturated, but if you want to, keep it nice and cool. Okay, you got flicker protection, full screen, there's your peak display. Okay, I already showed you how that works. You got edge lighting. Okay, I'll go through that when I go through the Moto Suite. Okay, and again, this one right here, you can, you can uh, have 144 hertz refresh rate. So if you're into hardcore gaming, you're gonna like that. No need to go to wallpaper, accessibility, if you're hearing or visually impaired, everything is in order. Got your security, okay, so you got face unlock, finger percent, finger fit sensor, you got smart lock, okay. Passwords, digital well-being, monitor your scumbag activities, system updates, okay, that's pretty much it. Let's see anything we need to see here. Now this one has dual SIM slots, <laughs> okay. So you got two slots. <laughs> What's wrong with me today? I don't know. I got the giggles. All right. <laughs> Remember, um, you seen Beavis and Butthead, the movie? Got to go to Vegas for some slots. <laughs> You'll play the slots. <laughs> okay, let's exit out of that. I know. Okay, let's go to the Moto Suite. Okay, so here, let's see. You got personalization. Okay, so you can change your themes, your wallpapers. It does have a few wallpapers that are dynamic. Okay. This is how the dynamic ones look. Okay, you know, a few cute ones. Not too, not too spicy, but you know, they get the job done. Okay. So that's it. You, you can also have your own papers, your own papers, your own pictures. Go crazy. So that's personalized. You got a bunch of gestures. All right. So you got quick launch. Okay. Double tap for your um, custom actions. You got quick capture. That's the chop. Bring you right to your, the twist. Activate the camera. Switch it around. Bang. You in it just like that. Let's go back. Let's see, you got your fast flashlight. So that's the chops. Two chops. Two karate chops. Turn on your flashlight. You're good to go. You got three finger screenshots. Lift to unlock. Flip for do not disturb. Pick up the silence. Swipe for split screen multitasking. So plenty of gestures. Okay, let's see. You got tips. Take a tour. Display. We've already seen that. You got attentive display. So as long as you're looking at the phone, it's going to stay on. And, you know, that's not, not really new, but it works. And if you're playing video games, okay, you got your media controls, Dolby Atmos, video call effects. Okay, and that's pretty much it. This is a great, clean, smooth, I would say upper tier, high tier, mid-range phone. This is a great high tier, mid-range phone. Okay, the only issue I have with this phone is I think Motorola got a little bit greedy with the pricing because as of right now it's six hundred bucks. But when this first when this firm first came out, it was eight hundred bucks. That's why I was like, hell no! For eight hundred bucks, you could get a Google Pixel Seven Pro. Okay, you could spend an extra hundred bucks and get the Seven Pro. Who would buy this for eight hundred bucks? But at six hundred bucks with the free earbuds, okay, now we're talking. But I think this should be five hundred bucks. Okay. Let's check the web browsing speeds. Go to apple.com. Opening web page. Okay. Now, a lot of people have been asking me to review the new MacBooks and the new Mac Mini and all of that. Honestly, I hate Mac soft. I hate Mac OS. So I'm not wasting no more money on any um, Apple computers. iPads and, you know, Apple Watches and iPhones, I'll get all day. But I'm not buying no more Apple PCs to have as decorations. Okay, so that's the full uh, scrolling effect, 144 hertz, split screen multitasking. Let's see what we got. Okay, so you want to go to your settings. You can play with your settings. 
two apps at the same time. Multitasking like a beast. All right, so now let's test out the dual stereo speakers with the Dolby Atmos. Of course, I got the official Flossy Carter sound test by my homeboy, Mark Rubier. Here we go. Sound test, tough a sound test. Everybody shut your mouth, tough a sound test. Time to test that quality of sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? How's it sound big? Nice amount of bass. Sound loud. How's the bass, baby? How's the treble on it? How's it sound now? Okay, let's cover up the bottom. Here's the earpiece speaker. Nice and loud. You can feel that bass. The sound white shoes have the sound on it. Surprisingly good speakers <laughs> on a phone at this price. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rabier. But like I was saying, <laughs> surprisingly good speakers on a phone at this price. All right, so now let's take a look at this beautiful 6.55 inch P OLED display. Basically bezel-less. Little cutout right here for your camera. Excellent viewing angles. The picture is nice and sharp. The display is absolutely beautiful. Here's how it's gonna look when you're watching your videos. Pretty dope. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's try a little bit of gaming. Of course, we got the Snapdragon 888 Plus, so it should be no issues. Okay, 360's on deck. Okay. A little drifting. Let me get to that rent. Pardon me, sir. You know, gotta have manners when you're out in these <laughs> asphalt nine streets. Oh, let's go. Oh, I missed the turn. Okay. But look at this. No lag. Nice and smooth. Beautiful. 144 hertz refresh rate. Snapdragon 888 Plus. No issues with gaming at all. All right, so now let's take a look at the camera. All right, so you got a bunch of different shooting modes. You got slow motion. You got video, which you can do wide angle all the way up to six times zoom. You also got 8K at 30 frames per second recording, or you can do 4K at 60 frames or full 1080p. You got photos, so you got macro, wide angle, all the way up to eight times zoom. Let's see if we get a quick shot. Matter of fact, we're taking a portrait mode. Shoes. Shoes never want to turn around. When... All right. Let's see if we get a little shot of shoes. Okay. <laughs> There's your camera. Now, it does take better pictures than the one I just showed y'all. <laughs> you got pro mode. Change your white balance, your shutter speed. And, of course, you got more. So, you got cutout, spot color, night vision, panorama, ultra resolution. Uh, you got document scan, dual capture, time lapse, AR sticker. You got spot color video, dual capture video. And, of course, you can arrange these at your leisure. All right, let's see if we get one quick photo. All right, shoes, calm down, bro. <laughs> All right. Shoes, come on, bro. <laughs> shoes being a dick right now. Let's see if you can get shoes on the back. All right. Well, <laughs> this, is, this is what shoes want to show us. Some fur. It is what it is. But take a look at these test pictures and videos for yourself. Thank you.
So now let's do the RDA test, regular daily activities. Now you just spent 600 bucks on the phone. Let's see how it works in the real world. Now one of the downsides about this phone is there's no wireless charge. So no need to have a wireless charging dock. You're gonna have your phone on the table like this, charging up. Now when you wake up, all you gotta do is move the phone around. There's your peak display. So I got the time, date, battery percentage, and all of my notifications. I can just tap on them, okay. Got a new YouTube video just dropped, okay. Now, if I want to go right to that YouTube video, bong, just like that. Some brought candy, okay. some brought Now, if I want to exit out of this, one man brought something you do have we didn't expect picture in picture. A warning. Okay. So, <laughs> so you can watch the videos and browse on your phone. Now, the first thing I want to do, swipe over. Let's go to Google. Let's get a fresh refresh. Okay. And uh, see what pops up. Let's see. Uh, okay. Moto got a new flagship coming out. Okay, so Pad OS is the future. Mm, whatever. <laughs> okay, you got the iPad and the Ray and the, and the ROG phone. That's a nice combo. Okay, Anchor got some new wireless charging products. Okay, become a Door Dasher, earn big. Okay, I'm gonna keep my options open. Okay, you got latest photos. Okay, uh, Nvidia got the new uh, RTX GeForce. Okay, save fifty bucks on some earbuds. Got some Seinfeld activities. Okay, anyway, so here's how your Google feed is going to look. Okay, Met the Man and Red Man got a new song with Dave East. Okay, Young Thug, <laughs> Young Thug is in, is in going through it right now. I'm not trying to laugh. I don't, I don't mean to laugh, but, bro, crime does not pay. That's all I got to say. Crime does not pay in the long run. Exit out of that. All right, so that's your Google homepage. Next thing I want to do, let's do some work. Okay, so the first thing I do, take it over my Gmail work widget. Okay. Check on the uh, daily market recap. Let me check my portfolio. Okay, my, my portfolio looking portfolio looking rather thin right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know that's why I'm spending all my money on cat food. But um, let's go ahead and reply to one of these messages. Thanks, thanks, bro. Okay, bang. Hit send. Okay, so that would be me replying to all of my work emails. Exit out of that. Now, if I wanted to, I could do a split screen multitasking. So I could do my work emails. And let's uh, go to YouTube at the same time. So if I want to watch some videos and do my work emails, didn't expect. No see what's going on with Hanson and the Predators. To see and, hear okay. is and again, here's Chris Hanson. 
full screen with the YouTube playing at the same time while we go to Facebook. So let's exit out of <laughs> the Predator verse. All right, so now let's take it over to Facebook. Okay, so let's see what's going down on Facebook. Now, <laughs> I'm such a fat ass. I seen this same ad on Instagram, and I actually took a screenshot of this. You got the chicken fry. This is called Fluck. <laughs> what the Fluck? You got Fluck chicken strips. Oh, Fluck chicken chips. Let me say that right. Chicken skin chips. <laughs> Only fat people take screenshots of shit like this. But, you know, it is what it is, man. All right. So we got some more photos on Facebook. Okay, everybody outside. My man got a fresh fade. Okay, he got a fresh fade and got the beard lined up. It's getting like that, man. It's okay to show show love. All right, it's okay. You know, you ain't always got to be mad about stuff. Okay, my man Calvin. Okay, my man Calvin be outside with the choir boys. You know what I'm saying? Doing it big. Okay, all right. Now, what the oh, Come on, bro. This is a family show. All right, we got Amaya outside looking beautiful. It's getting like that. Okay. You know, why am I looking surprised? You got the surprise look. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I like that, though. Okay, what's this? Um, Some new bed spreads. All right. All right. Okay. All right. This is a family show. Anyway, so this is how your Facebook is going to look. Exit out of that. Got all my apps open in the background. And if you want to, clear them all out. All right, so now let's take it over to Twitter. Okay. Here's how your Twitter is going to look. Let's go to notifications. Go to mentions. Okay, let's get a fresh refresh. I like to say fresh refresh. Okay, check this out. Somebody want me to check something out? Let's see. What is this now? Incredible Zen Book 17 Fold. Now, I was actually looking at this. I don't know if this is worth the price. I mean, it's pretty TGH, but it is It is. Um, It is. Um. a cool little gadget. I mean, I, I, I mean, if y'all really want me to review it, let me know. If y'all want to see the Zen Book, I'll do it. But I wasn't really floored when I first seen it at CES. But it is what it is. Actually, I've seen it before that. Let's see. Um, let's, let's see what's going down with Captain Two Phones. Let's see. 5G, if you drain more battery, leave your phone for 5G, 4G. Me, personally, I'm not really getting a big difference between 5G and 4G LTE. 5G is pretty prevalent in, um, <laughs> in New York City. Big words alert in New York City, but um, I'm not really seeing a major upgrade. So, uh, to each his own. It depends where you, know, um, where you live at. Okay, now my man got the ill gaming set up. Trying to rival mines, trying to rival my gaming setup. I like that. Okay, so anyway, here's how your Twitter's gonna look. <laughs> let's see. <laughs> Somebody got the meme face. All right, let's see. All right, so anyway, here's, so this, oh, look at this. Hold on, what was that? What was that? What was that? I just seen. I just seen one of my favorite phones. Okay, this is the red. This is the king of the red phones right here. I sold mines already. Okay, the Vivo IQ, I'm uh, not Vivo, the Vivo X90 Pro Plus. I did a full video on that. Check it out if you want. I hated to sell it, but, you know, somebody wanted it more than me. All right, so that's how your Twitter's going to look. Keep it moving. Next, let's go to TikTok. Okay, for TikTok, we got to hit the volume on this one. Okay, got the BMF shirt. Okay, I respect that. Okay, Boozy out here crying about something. As you, okay, my favorite sport. My new favorite sport. Hold up. We need the sound for this one, bro. Yo, hold up. Wow. Damn, she smacked fire out of him. I gotta I gotta hear the sound. Hold up. Jesus! Wow! Wow! She slapped fire out of him. <laughs> Alright, let me turn that back. Damn it. Okay. This look like my man Tight Shirt Terry, aka the tightest shirts in the game. Okay, got some dancing videos that I like to see. You know, everybody having fun. LeBron. Okay, LeBron versus who? I don't know. Who's this cat? I don't know, but somebody about to get, get dunked on. Okay, we got some um, interesting stuff. Now, this is a bottle. I've seen this video, too. This is the Hennessy. Look at this Hennessy right here. I think this bottle of Hennessy costs a couple of thousand dollars, but um, if you can afford it, might as well do it. Check this out. You got to you gotta look, look at this. This is a bottle of Hennessy. Okay, let me get it narrate this for y'all. You gotta have the two keys. Okay, so one key for that side. Okay, one key. We already came this far. We gotta see what it looks like now. I know we we too deep in. I don't want to swipe and just leave y'all hanging like that. Let's. I gotta let y'all see what a couple of thousand dollars bottle of Hennessy looks like. And there it is. Now, <laughs> I would buy this one time just for the bottle, and then just keep on refilling it. With your standard Hennessy, <laughs> your standard twenty dollar Hennessy from your local Hennessy supplier. All right, let's see anything else. Oh, I don't know. I, I almost threw up. Okay, so here's how your TikTok is gonna look. Okay, Corley Ray. 
Okay, new generation rappers. I, you know, I ain't mad at them. Okay, that's TikTok. Okay, my algorithm is. Oh my God, I, I need to see it one more time. Yo, did you look at y'all? Look at his face. Look at his face. Sure, I need a head of salmon. Whoa! I'm sorry, shoes. I, I just scared shoes. That is my new favorite sport. Okay, I, whoa. All right, so let's take it over to Instagram to round this one off. Okay, now y'all know. Y'all know this is a family show, okay? So we got some transformations. Okay, that is a dramatic transformation. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's see. All right. Okay, we got my man, uh, Lil D. Lil D be spitting. I just case y'all know my man, Lil D. This was when he was a kid, though. He's, that's when he was a kid. <laughs> okay. He grew up now. This was him back in the days, but he been spitting since he was a kid. Let's see. Okay. Kimmy Maruso. Okay. Solid abs. Okay. Motivation. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. This nurse is going viral. <laughs> She's going viral for her photo shoot in the scrubs. I mean, come on. You go to the hospital and this is your nurse. <laughs> You're going to be like, <coughs> I need IVs. I need more treatment. Okay. Look now. Look at those abs. See that's what I'm saying? That This is motivation for me because I'm a fat ass. So I like to see other people looking good. So that kind of make me want to go to the gym myself. All right, anything else we need to see on the gram? Now, you see my algorithm brings me to a lot of cute cat videos because that's what I like to see. Okay. All right. Pop Duke's right here with the old school bib style. Yeah, the old school bib. And, of course, you got the standard sports and the highlights. Let's see who's getting drugged right now. Oh, drugged him. <laughs> oh, drugged him again. Oh, okay. This is prime Cam Newton. Yeah, Cam Newton was definitely built different. Uh, you know, he has a he has a weird sense of fashion, but hey, to each his own. But he's definitely one of them dudes when it comes to football. My man, Ha Ha Davis, uh, he's one of the funniest dudes on Instagram. <laughs> okay. Some little robbery videos, this kind of shit I hate to see. Okay. Anyway, so here's how your Instagram is going to look. I'm not going to spend all day doing this. My man, Goob, out here exposing these uh, fitness frauds. Okay, this is family. Okay, Dave Chappelle, my favorite show of all time. And that's how that's going to look. We'll do one more. Go to FlossyCarter.net. Okay, now, just in case if you like the family show, <laughs> if you like the family show, and you want to buy some merch, I don't look, I don't be hitting y'all with no VPN ads, so I got to plug my website when I can. Go to FlossyCarter.net, okay? Get yourself a family show t-shirt, all right? This is the family show. Get yourself one of these t-shirts. Anyway, RDA, regular daily activities. This phone performs like any flagship phone that's out right now. So, overall, okay, overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, oh, yeah, one more thing I want to talk about real quick. All right, so one last thing. Now, I did test out the free earbuds that came in the box, and I'm going to rank these as Dei, D-E-Y-A-I-G-H-T, Dei. Nothing special. Now, if you bought these standalone, I would say these are probably about $35 earbuds. Okay, they're going to get the job done, but nothing special. So, overall. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give the Moto Edge 30 Fusion a major go. But at 600 bucks, I would say the price is a little TGH. Now, if you could find this phone for 500 bucks, that is a great deal. But for 600 bucks, do yourself a favor, buy the Pixel 7. So way better phone, better camera, better water resistance, wireless charge, always on display, more security updates, more Android updates. It's just an all-around better phone. Moto 30 Fusion, again, for 500 bucks, this is a win. Now, like I said earlier, this was a special request video. I do not plan on keeping this phone. So if any of y'all out there want to buy this phone from me, of course, I'm going to sell it to you for way cheaper than what I paid for it, which was 634 bucks. If you want it, I give it to you for 500 bucks with the free shipping and handling, and I'll throw in a little gift. But remember, it only works on AT&T and T-Mobile, no Verizon, okay? Any GSM networks, no Verizon. Anyway, this is a great upper-tier mid-range phone. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout-out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout-out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout-out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream dance is on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys in life. Oh yeah, special shout out.
Shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter. That's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and pitch and go. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. some of that technology, you gotta understand certain things, subscribe to Flossie Carter, he does reviews of all the latest technology, the iPhones, the iPads, the Galaxies, the Samsungs, whatever the fuck, the Beats by that doctor guy, and he puts his kitty cat in the videos too for you something to look at, you know I'm an animal lover so I like that shit. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, the Flossy Carter on the YouTube, the follow button on the Insta face, and the like button on the face look. Because if you don't, we're going to have a fucking problem here. A bad one. Now hit the fucking subscribe button.